Hi everyone, I'm Carrie Richardson, lifestyle designer and coach, and I am so excited to talk to you about my new book, What Your Clutter Is Trying to Tell You, Uncover the Message and the Mess and Reclaim Your Life. Over the past couple years, I have significantly downsized my life. I sold my 2,000 square foot house, I sold most of its contents, and I pared way down in preparation to live in a 240 square foot tiny house. Yep, like those ones you see on TV. In doing so, I've come to realize just what I need to be happy and fulfilled, and I'm surprised at how little it is. I also have first-hand experience with the power of figuring out what my clutter was trying to tell me. Every time I got rid of things that no longer added value to my life, challenging tasks became easier, or new clients would appear, or a friend I had been thinking about for a while calls out of nowhere. It's easy to write these things off as coincidences, but from my personal experience and my experience working with clients to help them live a well-curated life, I know it's due to clearing clutter and opening up the channels for abundance in all of its forms. You see, clutter plays an important role in your life. It's a messenger. It's not a monster. It's like a flashing neon sign letting you know what needs your attention. It's telling you that something is out of alignment. If you have clutter that you've been struggling with for a while, that's something you really want to pay attention to because stubborn clutter is almost always an indication of a non-clutter issue. Whatever the clutter is, there's a lesson to be learned. And when you look under the piles and figure out what they represent, you can heal aspects of your life that you've likely struggled with for a long time. For example, let's say your desk is a dumping ground. It's piled high with random stuff papers and books and mail and folders, all this while you're trying to find a new job or grow your business. Well, the condition of your desk directly contradicts what you say your goal is. So the first step in finding that new job or growing your business is to tend to the clutter on your desk. And now here's where things get really interesting. When you keep your desk cluttered as an excuse to not do the work it takes to find that job or market your services, then that clutter is playing an important role in your life. There is a payout to keeping it. Because you see, if you're afraid to play bigger in the world, clutter is a fantastic scapegoat. So in my book, What Your Clutter Is Trying To Tell You, I'll teach you how to identify the behaviors, patterns, and beliefs that hold you back and that show up in your life as clutter, physical, emotional, or otherwise. Through client examples, personal stories, and practical exercises, you will finish this book with a new understanding of your clutter, increased compassion for yourself, and an action plan to uncover the message in your mess. So whether it's unfiled paperwork, overflowing bookshelves, exhausting friendships, or your monkey mind telling you that your goals aren't possible, Figuring out what your clutter represents is what can help you make your someday today.